Hello and welcome to another edition of Tips from the Swamp by Absolute Control Irrigation Specialist Incorporated. Today we're going to be discussing the H Station output module that Rainbird uses, referred to as an OSM. This device is used in the PAR Plus, PAR Plus ES, and MSC Plus control units. These are H Station output modules which control eight outputs. You can have as many as these units in a control unit as it can handle. In this chassis, I have mounted a power interconnect board, one OSM, two OSMs, three OSMs. Connected to this first OSM, I have eight lights to indicate zone output as I turn them on. What I want to discuss is what happens when one of these devices has one of the lightning protection pieces in of it short out, which does happen. When it happens, it attempts to turn on more stations than the circuit breaker and the power interconnect can handle. Now, to demonstrate what happens with one zone on, I'll turn on the first zone. You'll notice we have a light turn on here on the OSM. And here's a station indicator light that is turned on. I can turn on a second zone. You'll notice we have two lights on on the OSM. We only have two lights down here for station indicators. Now, I'm going to go to the fourth zone, which I have set up with the simulated short of a lightning device. And you'll notice when it tries to turn on, Several things occur. One, the light in the power interconnect board up here goes out, which says that we've lost the 24 to 26 volts that's used to operate each of the zones. It also turns all the lights off on this OSM. Your face panel now is reading breaker trip because this breaker has been overloaded and tripped. To solve this problem, you need to turn off the satellite remove the faulty OSM and replace it with a good OSM, reset the circuit breaker in the power interconnect board, then turn the unit back on. When it comes back on, you'll notice that we, once again, we have the light for our low voltage to operate our electronics, we have this light is back on for your 26 volt output to operate each station. And at that point, you can operate a station or any station as normal. To resolve this problem with the OSM that you've removed, you need to send that to a repair center where they will remove the defective or blown or short of device, replace it, and send the unit back operational so you can use it for your next need for an OSM. If you have any other questions or need any other information, please contact our website at www.absolute-control.com. Thank you for your time.